Now, now that we understand what conductance is, what conductivity is, we'd like to measure the conductivity of an ionic solution or an electrolytic solution. Now, what are the options with us? We have done in, in chapter 3, electricity physics, the Wheatstone bridge, where we are able to measure the resistance of, of a wire or, or any unknown resistor by connecting it as one of the arms in the Wheatstone bridge, right? So, so Wheatstone bridge is, is something like this is something like this. Okay. The stone bridge is something like this. R1, R2, R3, R4, and, and there is a detector. Okay, this could be a galvanometer connected across the opposite point. Okay. If 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 the power supply is here, then the galvanometer has to be. Across the other two ends, okay, and is the power supply. Now there is a relationship between the resistors, and it is, it is like this: the adjacents, the ratio of the adjacents is, is equal. When this Wheatstone bridge is balanced. So, so resistances can be found by Wheatstone bridge, Wheatstone bridge, balanced condition. What is a balanced Wheatstone bridge? When current through the galvanometer is zero. Okay, Ig is zero. Uh, Wheatstone bridge is balanced, is said to be balanced when Ig equal to zero. Okay, when I G equal to zero, that means the, the current through the galvanometer is equal to zero. In that condition, in that condition, in that condition, there is a relationship R1 upon R2 is equal to R3 upon R4. Okay, now if R2 is the unknown, if say this is the unknown resistor that you have put in and you know the values of the rest 3, then what do you do? Then R2 is equal to R1, R4 upon R3. So, so I get R2 is equal to R1, R4 upon R3. So if we know the 3 remaining resistors, we, we get to know R2. Fine, that's how you do it with any unknown resistor, right? Now the moment you try to do it with a solution, immediately a problem drop, uh, drops in, right? What happens? What happens is, is a resistor, a, a, an ionic solution does not have a definite shape. It is a solution, it's a liquid. So how do I connect it between the two, okay? 
so so with ionic solution with ionic solution the following problem arises number 1 number 1 that we saw in the last video is passing a dc passing a dc changes the composition of the changes the composition of the solution due to electrochemical reaction due to electrochemical reaction okay that is number 1 now what is number 2 number 2 is the solution does not have a definite shape so the problem arises in connection in connecting it as an arm of as an arm of the wheatstone bridge okay so the problem arises in connecting it as an arm of the wheatstone bridge how do you connect it okay the first problem is solved by using an ac so here you use an ac okay so instead of this instead of this instead of this dc which is which is a series of cells which is a battery we use an ac this is the symbol for an ac source so this source becomes an ac source that is the first change that we that we do the second thing that we do is 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 to overcome this we use a conductivity cell use a conductivity cell okay let us use a conductivity cell now what is a conductivity cell as 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 it must have struck you as well it it must have struck you that why not confine it within within say say a, a glass tube or something right and apply two electrodes at the end no and that is exactly what we do for this so so we use a conductivity cell so which looks like this conductivity cell which which looks like this okay this is something like this and and here i have my electrode in the end okay they they go out something like this okay they are something like this and this is 
this is a cork and we fill our solution in this okay this is filled with our ionic solution these electrodes are so so this is one design we we may have another design whereby They're like this, okay, and then there are two electrons, and and in between you have the you have the ionic solution, okay. In between we have the ionic solution, and 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 this is. The electrodes are platinized platinum. Okay, so electrodes are electrodes are are platinized platinum electrodes. What do we mean by platinized? Platinized means finely divided platinum is deposited electrochemically over platinum electrodes the finely divided platinum is also called platinum black it is called platinum black fine now now it has uh, the electrodes have an area of a and the distance between the electrodes is l so so it is l upon a but as as you must have figured out <clears throat> that is not a very very reliable thing to do you cannot take this l as as the same and a as the same because first of all the electrode the electrode area is not the same as the area of this so so there are certain approximations there that we have to come over okay and there are ways in which we do come over the restrictions of of how to how to measure the l and a for for the conductivity cell that is here right